Arthur, I think this is the tenth time I've called you this week. Look, I understand you're going through a rough patch, but I'm here for you. I'm your wife, for God's sake, Arthur. I just need to know you're okay. I need to know my husband's okay. It's been four months, and not one call back for four months. Don't do this to us. Don't do this to your daughter. You're beating yourself up for what? What's that going to fix, Arthur? It will get better, I promise. You just have to accept that. Work it out for me and for Hope. Arthur? Arthur, please answer the door. No, I said I would give you space, but you've left me to look after Hope alone. Dad, Dad! I know you're in there. What's wrong? What do you want? What is this? Oh, 
Sasha sees her. Sasha's obviously murderer. You're not worthy of being a teacher. Irresponsible. 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 I hope you don't, I hope you don't have, have any children, children of your own. Poor things. Poor things. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Worthless. It You're your useless. Fault. You don't deserve it. a good teacher. You're such a good teacher, Dad. 
Dad, I know when I grow up, I'm going to be so smart. And I'm also going to be so cool, just like you. Look, I know Dad's away at the moment, but we can call him and tell him how much we love him. I know. Task of the day. Come up with seven words that describe Dad, and we'll show him how smart you are. find the biggest and bestest words with lots and lots of letters. The biggest and bestest words. With lots and lots of letters. Mrs. Moore speaking. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I can't. I don't get what all this is for. Why am I being forced to do this? For what? For what? Mrs. Moore speaking. Mrs. Moore, I'm so, I'm so sorry I've not called sooner, and and I'm so I'm so sorry for your loss. I should I should have been quicker, but the car, it came out of nowhere. If I if I if I just noticed, noticed that that Janet had walked off. If I had just been that bit quicker, I'd have been able to save her. But her heart, her little heart, she wouldn't, it wouldn't stop. And the blood, there was, there was more and more. And it entangled itself into a gorgeous blonde hair. I, I held her hand, it was cold. I never, I never thought I'd have to do it. CPR, we learn it, but we never really expect to have to use it. And the one time that you do, and it doesn't work, and it doesn't work, I've missed my daughter. But I can't look at her without, without seeing Janet. 
I'm not worthy of being a father. I'm not going to rip motherhood from someone else. Arthur, I never blamed you for what happened. None of it was in your control. We all know who to blame. But it certainly wasn't you. You're a fantastic father, but treating yourself like this, all you're doing is wasting precious time. Time that could be spent with her. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for trying to save my little girl. You have a heart of gold, Arthur, but it's time you moved on for your wife and for hope. It's okay, Dad. It wasn't your fault. I will always love you.